local teenager has been missing for three days now, and still, his mother says there have been no clues as, as to where he might be. Now, tonight, our Valina Jones spoke to his mother, and Valina, what is she saying tonight? Jeff, Jennifer, we met that mother right here in southeast Portland as she searched throughout the city for her son. She tells me that he went missing from a group home. He's never left for more than a couple of hours, and she's hoping that someone will see these pictures we're about to show you, recognize him, and find the teen safe. He could be anywhere. I mean, it's a big city. Laura Bowen and her boyfriend, Chris Walton, have been looking for her 15-year-old son, Elkin, for days who went missing Friday. I just want him found. I'm scared. <laughs> I want to know that he's okay. Elkin has been staying at a group home in Northeast Portland since July. It's run by Albertina Kerr and specializes in caring for people with intellectual and development disabilities. He's very smart. Like he, you know, a little impulsive, you know, obviously, unfortunately, but at the same time, is ver very verbal, very gullible, and that's where he kind of is on more on the spectrum on not knowing social boundaries. Bowen tells me the day before Elkin went missing, he was upset over changes to the teaching staff. She said the facility allows residents to leave on their own and does not let them have phones. How is this even possible? I placed my son in a group home to keep my son safe, and this happens? To me, there, there's something needs to change. As Laura and Chris continue to search for her son with no money or a place to stay, Laura is even more worried he hasn't found a way to call home. He would call somebody. That's just yeah, who he, he is. Yeah, he would call. Yeah. 100%. He knows how to make phone calls. He knows how to definitely call me or call his granddad for sure. Jeff and Jennifer, I have reached out to the facility and am still waiting to hear back. Portland police are considering this a runaway case right now, but again, Laura is concerned because her son is on the spectrum. She says he is vulnerable and she is worried about his safety. Reporting live in Southeast Portland, Valina Jones, Coin 6 News. Well, hopefully someone sees that picture we showed. It's on our website now and he can be returned safely. Valina, thank you.